Hello everyone, welcome to video tutorials, 3D to presentation on 3D Studio Max using Leaf Modifier. Today we'll be using Leaf Modifier to create a simple vase and then apply a material to it. If you have any further qu questions or comments or just want to say here, you can drop by at my site videotutorials.blogsom.com or you can email me directly at gngabriel29 at ymail.com. Okay, now let's take a look at the 3D Max program itself. Let's go to the let's click on the create panel. Make sure you select the shape panel here using splints. Let's select line. Okay. Make sure initial type is smooth and drag type is basal. Okay, that's okay. Now let's look at the front panel. You create the start create the outline the of half the vase in the outline panel. So let's click, click drag a bit, click drag a bit. If you make a mistake, you can always press backspace to delete the previous vertices. Okay, right click once you've finished creating an outline. You can further modify the outline by clicking on the modify panel. Click on the plus sign beside line and select vertex. Now you can move vertices around further. Okay, once you're finished creating the outline you want, select line again. Then, from the modifier list, press L. Okay, you'll jump to the first, you'll jump to modifiers with name L. So let's select leave. Don't worry if the axis, uh, if it looks a bit weird. What we can do is click on the plus sign, select axis. We just have to move the axis of rotation to the middle here. Okay. Now you right click on perspective, you can see the thing in perspective view. Okay, now to make it look a bit more realistic, let's apply texture to it. So click on M for material editor. On the plus, on the get material button, then go make sure you have material library. Let's click on view small icons. Let's scroll down, find suitable material. I'll use this material here. Double click on it, on the material you want. Close the material editor now. Well, now that you selected the material that you want to use, you can make sure that the the object you want to apply material to is selected. Then click on assign material to selection. And if you cannot see the material in the viewport, make sure you click on this show map in viewport button. Right now, let's close this material editor. Let's select rendering, being render. Let's click on the render button and here you have it, the rendering of the of the vase.